Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. So another day where we could have more of that record warmth out there and we continue with that warmth today, tomorrow, as well as we'll have more sunshine at times between the next two days. Friday, though, things change. We're back to winter, so we're on for this whiplash ride that we are on this week, going from spring and April type of conditions to back to January conditions at the end of this week. A front kind of brings in some snow and some blustery conditions to wrap up this work week. The record high uh, yesterday was broken. It was uh, record high 44 back in 2003. We reached 45 at the NWS office in Nagani Township yesterday. So we broke the record there. But these were the highs yesterday. Most areas inland into the 40s, 50 degrees for Ironwood and then the upper 30s across the east. So another day of similar temperatures is expected for us. And with that warmth coming in, we have more of that snow, will, which will continue to melt here so plan on more slush on some trails and on some surfaces and then when it refreezes like what happened last night you'll likely encounter some icy surfaces like what we're seeing this morning along some sidewalks driveways steps parking lots keep that all in mind we don't want any bomb ankles it is going to be a warmer day as we've been talking about all week another day where temperatures will easily be 15 to 20 to 25 degrees above the normal we have ranges of upper 40s to lower 50s inland, mildest, warmest along the Wisconsin state line, upper 30s and some lower 40s along the shorelines of the Great Lakes. Lows tonight into the 20s, looking at high temperatures tomorrow. We have similar temperature ranges where we do have that shore and interior inland split to near 50 degrees along the Wisconsin state line. We're supposed to be around 26 for this time of year. So the jet stream pattern has us this big ridge west of us and more of that zonal flow over the Great Lakes pumping in that warm Pacific air uh, for all the way through tomorrow. Then this trough digs in on Friday. It brings in that cold Canadian air with a passage of a front. So Friday, as I mentioned, we're back to wintry conditions. Here's the hour by hour. A few spotty rain showers today across the northern lower, otherwise dry in the UP and into Wisconsin. Similar for tomorrow and then tomorrow night into Friday. Here comes that cold front, cold air, lake effect snow. Plan on blowing snow to be an issue for Friday morning as well. We're going to have some stronger gusty winds by Friday morning. In fact, by Friday morning, wind flow out of the north gusts of around 30 to 35 miles per hour in the morning hours and then gradually weakening throughout the course of the day. Looking ahead at your extended forecast, a few snow showers could still be possible in the far east end for Saturday. Plan on a breezy weekend with another.